Yes, ma'am. Uh, I would like to know how long the cleaning process takes. I have asthma. When I was an asthmatic for 28, 29 years, Miss Mildred Jones that just spoke about, Miss Mildred Jones, she had a machine. She was worse than you. And in a half an hour or 50 minutes, she took the machine on her nose. But I want to say this. That's have to be very, very carefully understood. <coughs> I had two people that died after they came to see me at the Usha family last year, or this year. Young woman too, with asthma. She came and she took the compound and she was feeling very good, but she didn't come back because asthmatic people does that. I did it too. Once that wheezing stops and that breathing becomes good, we don't want to take the substance anymore. No. The mucus is in the head. Like I said, every one of us have a tumor. And it breaks down. And you find that you're swallowing. Huh? Many of you felt that you're swallowing mucus sometimes, draining down your hair. You know? It's coming down from this big head. You know, that cheese and the cow. Uh, this lady, this young sister, told me that she was only eating the food that I recommended. And in the selection of these foods, one. As a steam engineer, I learned to understand chemicals. I am a steam engineer. I learned that not by going to school for it because you heard me say I didn't go to school. I learned it on the ship. I was a wiper, which is a janitor. I wiped myself to a fireman and water tender, to a junior engineer, to an engineer, on the job training. So while on the ship, it was my duty at one point in my journey as an as a engineer to scavenge the oxygen out of the boilers. That's the first thing a steam engineer have to learn to do. To put sulfite in the feed water that it would go in the tubes of the boiler and scavenge out all the oxygen. There, if there's any degree of oxygen over and above, just, I would say, oxygen in contents would be like only one tenth of one percent of the water. Because oxygen would cause pitting in the tubes, erosion. So you put sulfite in the water and it removed oxygen from that water. I know you would never have to suffer pitting in the tubes. But when I would open that barrel, I had to open the barrel and stand away. If I stand over that barrel when I open it, that's how fast it would react. So what are they spraying the vegetables with now to make it look young? I mean fresh. <coughs> and this lady has asthma and she comes to me. She begins to feel good. But I recommend that she eat only green things and she, cho and she chooses the broccoli. And when she eat the broccoli, now she called me about one hour before that. This happened to me. It's dangerous out there. It's very dangerous. You see, with that one dollar, we could go back to North Carolina and tell the brothers to have all this land that isn't growing anything, look, fellas. Yeah. We want you to grow organically grown food for us. Without the sulfite and insecticide and the pesticide because she's in trouble. This is in trouble. We're not taking care of business. We've been talking. We've been talking because those who came to us was talking about talking, talking about Egypt, talking about what took place in Songhe. What the hell are you going to do with that now? Hmm. Out, okay, you think you're bad, do something with that. No. <laughs> you walk out ahead and go do something what the Egyptians were doing back five, six thousand years ago. Go do that. I want to see how good it's going to be. <laughs> but if we do what we just recommended, each of us give one dollar and we start go back in the soil and growing the food for these, these children, because they're, they're us. And if our head is being compromised now, worse for them. Where Brother Sonny Carson is seeking right now to change the food in the schools. Now, doesn't that sound good? Isn't that a worthy cause? Instead of marching in the streets about what 